Hey everyone, um, <clears throat> so this video is basically going to talk about minimalism and why I hate the word. Now admittedly I use minimalism sometimes to describe uh, uh, myself, but I should probably stop doing that and and let me let me explain why. So the hardest concept I have about simply living um, is that people use the word minimalism a lot as I said, myself included. But what is minimalism? And this is the hardest concept that I, that I have and, and has taken me a while to, to grasp. So let me give you an example. If I say minimalism, some people immediately think it's having less than 100 items, right? Some seem to think it is living with less stuff and maybe it's being in a big city and using mass transit and being able to travel around the world, right? That would be a lot of people's definition of minimalism. Others, on the other hand, may feel that it is not using technology and simply living off the land in a simple fashion, right? Maybe it's, it's having a 300-acre farm, tons of tractors, and just uh, being self-sufficient, growing your own crops, and having zero technology and just living off the land like our forefathers did, right? To them, that would be minimalism. So this is the problem with minimalism and why my channel isn't called minimalism. Everyone has different ideas of what it should be. Uh, instead, I want to discuss goals. What are your goals, right? While I may gravitate towards simplifying many parts of my life, uh, a, a very basic definition of minimalism, I suppose, some parts are more complex because I choose them to be, right? Uh, I find it, even though it's it's complex, it enhances my life and makes things much easier. So, in, in essence, what we really need to do is we need to make choices and start prioritizing based on our goals. So, instead, I'm going to talk about goals and priorities uh, primarily on, on this channel. And the main goal is to simplify... Uh, your life to just focus in on these priorities and goals. So with all of that, uh, let me just give you a basic example. All right, so on this side, you can see I have a whole bunch of ingredients to make a delicious homemade pasta sauce. And then on the left side, we have the canned Chef Boyardee. So let's look at the right side real quick. Uh, I have some just straight up beef, 92% uh, lean. Um, and then I have a whole bunch of spices. And then, of course, we have the tomato sauce, and the ingredients are simple, right? It's just tomatoes, right? That's it. Pretty simple. Probably the most complex ingredient listing uh, would be what's in the pasta. And if you wanted to, you could probably just get like 100% whole wheat pasta if you really wanted to. Um, this was reinforced with, with other things, but uh, this is probably the most complex ingredient listing. Um, other than that, all the ingredients are very, very simple, very, very basic, and makes a nice homemade dish. Now here we have the Chef Boyardee, and look at this ingredient list, right? Uh, super, super complicated compared to the other. Um, probably not nearly as healthy. Uh, stuff I can't even pronounce is thrown in here. Um, but super quick, right? Uh, I could make this dish in probably a minute to heat up. And on the right-hand side, uh, that dish is probably going to take a good hour and a half to make. So as you can see, the real question here is which one's more simple, the homemade food or the prepared food? And to answer that, I would simply say, what are your goals? Now, if your goal is to live a healthier uh, lifestyle and to eat much more simple ingredients, then I would say, you know what, let's make the homemade uh, pasta, or actually I guess it would be the homemade uh, spaghetti, all the way, right? That includes the sauce, everything. Now, if your goal was to work on another project that you felt more important and you need to save a tremendous amount of time, because time was the most important thing to you, then perhaps the Chef Boyardee canned food uh, would be... Um, a better choice for you. Basically the canned food gives you and saves you the most amount of time uh, maybe focusing on another project that's super super important to you at that particular point in time. Now this is where things get a little bit more complex because you have to weigh the short the short-term goals uh, versus the long-term goals right and that's what I really want this channel to focus on right to help you find your goals so you can simply live and to help you weigh both scenarios. Uh, so, for example, 
What if you were pressed for time and don't have time to make the homemade pasta? Um, again, you could gravitate towards the canned food, but I want to give you tips and tricks on to choose other alternatives, right? That may be just as quick, but much, much healthier, right? Or perhaps we can plan better. Perhaps you could cook uh, up to two weeks of pasta when you have an hour and a half of spare time and then freeze the rest for later, right? So then you could just pull that out of the refrigerator, uh, the freezer uh, whenever you wanted it, right? You just cook a whole bunch of healthy food in bulk, freeze what you don't want, and then whenever you were pressed for time, quickly on thought, and boom, you have a nice homemade meal that didn't take a lot of time and you could use that when you are pressed for time or have other priorities that are much more important. So basically, what I'd like to do is focus on the best, uh, the best of both worlds to meet all of our goals, right? Another scenario could be you choose a prepared food like frozen fish that was pre-prepared, that, that had very basic ingredients, that was kind of healthy, uh, very quick to, to heat up, already prepared, but it's much, much healthier than the canned pasta. Anyway, all of this will be done in future videos to kind of weigh the pros and cons, uh, long-term versus short-term goals, and uh, we'll go into to much more depth uh, into that in later videos. Uh, the point of this video was just quickly explaining my issues with trying to define minimalism. Uh, you know, again, is it a person living with 100 possessions, or is it uh, living off the land with 10,000 possessions and no technology, right? Uh, again, the answer depends on your goals and what makes you happy, right? Uh, honestly, I would love to only have 100 items, but, uh, you know, I have a wife and kid. That's just not a realistic goal. I have to make compromises, and uh, that's just uh, uh, not realistic, right? So if that is someone's definition, you have to have 100 items or less, then you know what? I do not meet that definition. I am no longer a minimalist. So anyway, um, this is pretty much it uh, with the video. Um, I do, uh, in the future, we'll definitely focus in, as I said, on the short-term and long-term goals. I hope eventually I can convince you that eating healthy uh, can be a time saver and is much, much healthier uh, way of living. Um, so I, I do kind of hope that I can convince you of that. Again, it's not easy, but uh, we'll discuss that all in future videos. Um, but anyway, with this video, I basically just wanted to find minimalism, um, why I don't really like the word, although I do throw it around, um, and uh, uh, kind of uh, focus in more on priorities and goals. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully you found this video helpful.